This channel's young. It's not even a year old yet. And I'm learning as I go. And I am having a fabulous time doing this. I really am. I have to hey gang, welcome back to Mark's 60 plus fitness journey. Now tonight it is August 23rd, I believe. Yes, Monday. And it's like 10, 15 p.m. Now, now that I'm retired, time <laughs> is not nearly as relevant to me. Um, I've always been a uh, an early morning person, but lately, well, it's only been a week. I've been staying up later and later and later. So here I am with my mind wandering. And so what I did was I just sit down and uh, wrote a couple of notes up for myself about things I've learned. And this is generally regarding fitness and working out. And a lot of these things could be applied to life in general. But uh, these are things that I've come to realize over the last year or so. And maybe a couple of these in the last two or three years. Uh, the last five years for me has been incredible. I've uh, told this story many times, and for those of you are, that aren't familiar with it, I'll post my video up here in the corner regarding this particular journey, how it started, and um, so you'll have a little bit more background on that. Uh, but for now, what I did, I wrote these notes, so I'm going to just read these and try to go through these <clears throat> fairly quickly. I'm not going to... Uh, do any editorial editorializing of any of this. This is just stuff um, off the top of my head and it regards me and what I've learned. And I just want to pass this along uh, just because. So let's start with number one. 60 is not old. 50 or 70 even for that matter. Strength, mobility, agility, independence, and quality of life is all enhanced under a barbell, working out, or doing yoga, or calisthenics, or just good old physical activity in general. If a movement hurts, if an exercise hurts, stop doing that right then. That means I'm either doing it wrong and or I've hurt something. So it's time for me to stop, fix that problem now before it can't be fixed. These are just ad hoc, random thoughts, so I'm just going to read these as I go. Discipline is more important than motivation. Currently, I'm on an over 60 PR, personal record kick, for now. In my mind, I'm still 30. Uh, my body is not 30. So I'm slowly coming to grips with the reality that squat and deadlift PRs are not really what I need to be pursuing. Uh, I need to focus on a realistic long-term approach. I'm still working on this. I'm still going to be pursuing these PRs, I'm sure, until I plateau. But I'm still working on that. Getting fit or improving fitness is not obtained by lifting weights or running or cycling or climbing alone. Diet, physical flexibility, or flexibility in general, metaphorically speaking, cardio, and general activity outside of life, day-to-day -day standing up, moving around, doing things, uh, is just as vital. Speaking of cardio, I believe that walking or hiking is the best cardio for me. And this is coming from a guy that raced bicycles for years when I was younger. And at one point, very recently, was doing 70, running 70 miles a week in pursuit of a half marathon PR. Which I got, by the way, when I was 58 years old, I, ran a, I wanted to do a sub-145, one hour and 45 minute half marathon, I got a 144.20. But I believe walking is my ticket now. I am more than my workouts, or how much body fat I have, or how much weight I can lift, or how many pull-ups and push-ups I can do. I have a non-workout personality, I sure do. Comp 
compassion, empathy, and awareness of the human condition is all very important to me. My family always trumps my workouts. A fit person without a well-rounded life is probably gonna struggle a little bit out in the real world. There is no perfect or best workout routine. We are all unique with varying physical abilities and experiences. And for anyone brand new to getting fit, it can be a little bit overwhelming. Patience, education, caution, trial and error, and adapting, all those are keys as we move along. Every experienced fitness guru learn the same way we, we are. By doing it, making mistakes, fixing those, doing it again, making mistakes, and working through the process. It all starts with one single decision to start, one single step. I believe I have more trouble controlling how much I eat than what I eat. I eat clean, but I eat a lot. I'm working on controlling my actual consumption of food. This one's a little touchy. Um, this has to do with people in the gym that are obviously uncomfortable with being in the gym. I have far more respect for those people that come in the gym. They may be 50 or 100 pounds overweight. They may not really know what they're doing but they're there and they want to do something. I have a whole load of, of respect for people like that. And I will always go out of my way to smile and say hi to anyone in that situ situation. I want them to be welcome in the gym. I'd much rather be working out alongside them than the ape next to me bench pressing 500 pounds. I believe that the fitness world as we know it today, as we're exposed to it online, is a circus. There's very little actual and sincere truthful substance. There is way too much hyperbole, too little honesty, and way too many bright and shiny thumbnails trying to sell us snake oil. And finally, I've learned that this channel that I started has grounded me in a way I never expected. If I had continued in my own little insulated world, doing my own little workouts in my own little pond, the way I've always done them, I would not have learned that there's a whole world out there of folks just like me, all pursuing a goal, all having years and years of actual real experience, different experience than mine, which is vital. And all of you willing to pass along that wisdom and actual nuggets of real information that I would have never considered, and they're valuable, good stuff. They're all real people just trying to be a little better. This channel's young, it's not even a year old yet, and I'm learning as I go, and I am having a fabulous time doing this, I really am. I have to tell you some of the funnest parts of this to me is the actual editing of the videos. And if you go back and look at some of mine from October of 2020 and compare them to now, uh, those early ones are cringeworthy. But I had to start somewhere. And I, I just want to thank all of you so very, very much for giving me this outlet. And most importantly, for being so generous and encouraging and genuine. And you're from all over the world. It's not just the U.S. That's one of the main things I've learned is my world is not just where I live in the United States. There's a whole world of us out there. And the, the 
uh, generosity I mentioned earlier and the encouragement and, and just being genuine and knowing that we're all similar in at least one way. This all gives me hope. It really does. I, I have learned so much from this, but that is one of the most important things is we are all real people and it's nice to have you guys here with me. Again, I appreciate it. Guys and gals, by the way. So with that, I will wrap up this ramble. And as always, with all of these videos, when I'm chatting, there's always something I want to add after the fact. I'm sure I forgot something, but I would love for you, you guys and gals to pass along what you've learned, especially later in life, 50, 60, 70 years old, about this and how it applies to your life and, and what, what, you've, what you've gotten out of it. So that's it for now. And with that, I'll say... Until next time, go get them. Mark out.